Hello everybody and um, welcome back to my vlog, my channel. Um, today we've got a kit to build, it's another amplifier kit and this one is based on the TDA 7294. There's a board here, it's quite nice, that's where the left and right channel of the TDA ICs will go. That's quite nice. Nice and simple, that's definite. It's not a great deal to it as you split it down the middle for a left hand side and a right hand side on the channels there. Back side is nice. And what we got here? We've got some uh, Nichicon. Yep, uh, 63 volt, 470 microfarads. Nichicon, uh, what are these little things? What's written on them? Oh, they're Rubicons. Ooh, nice. I don't know if you can see that, but it does say Rubicon on it. And there's Elna. That's nice again. Here's a. Uh, that looks like they us do some straightening up on those nice and carefully. Don't want to break those. I don't know whether these will be. Genuine or not, it's, well, I don't, I just don't know, I, you know, I just don't want to say anything. Again, a bit of tidying up that's going to be needed to be done on these. Look, nice and weighty, I'll give it that. We've got some coils here that have been, at least they're in nice condition anyway, that's, uh, that's nice. Got one, got a couple of those. And then we've got these other capacitors here, which are Bevenby. Bevenby. Mm, yeah, don't know for sure about those, but they look nice, though, don't they? Axial capacitors, these leads are nice and uh, taunt. Just, you know. But yeah, they look quite nice. And some 1% resistors, and I expect these will all be Rubicon, then if, uh, yep, if the others were, that's the other Elna, yep, and Rubicon, yeah, I expect them all to be the same, and these um, metalised film resistors, and some film resistor, uh, capacitor, and film capacitor, these are all going to be the same value then. So we haven't got a lot of values to go through. Right, we're gonna stick it all together. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it off camera because there doesn't seem to be a lot of point doing it on camera. But that's uh, what you get in the box and these connector blocks here. What is that? Oh, I see. And that can go in together. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, see, these can fit together. Didn't know you could do that. I'll have to faff around with them. Oh no, there we go. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. Oh, it is nice actually when they do that. So those blue ones when you get little edges on them and then you gotta snip it all off and cut it all off. That's uh yeah, that's quite nice. Good uh, good connecting areas there. Alright, let's put it together and then we can uh, give it a bit of a test. I've just noticed well I'll we'll just put it in the resistors here and there's uh 4148s, they're diodes. And we don't have any diodes in the kit. I'm looking through the kit here and I can't see any diodes. I've got a few more resistors to go. And this is all that there was in the kit. The bag is empty. Um, I don't know. Um, no. So there's just no diodes in there, but you need a couple of uh, 4148s there. Okay, I have some anyway. Uh, so that's not going to be such a big problem for me. But if you are buying these kits, maybe uh, it's a good to say to the seller or something, can you check that there's some diodes in there? If you don't have any, um, because it might stymie you completing it. Okay, so I've got this connected up, um, built up and connected up. Uh, you know. Reasonably easy enough to do. I had to find those um, um, diodes. 
Put there in there. Give me so I can a point with. So we've got diodes in here. And there's one across here. Uh, we got our input. Input. And we got our output. This in the middle here. One side. And the one side here is for the voltage in and the ground. And then we've also got our... Um, the output left channel, ground, output right channel, and ground. Oh, connect to the power 200 watt dummy loads. And I'm going to be putting in, uh, it says you can go, I think it's 12 volt, 15 volt, 18 volts, 24 volt, 28 volt. So I've gone for the middle one, plus minus 18 volts. That's what we're going to be having over here. And we're going to power it up. I'm just going to pop it into power. Now it does stay on the on the uh, data sheet. There's like a 50, 65 milliamp quiescent current. And if we just go over here and take a peek there, we can see that that isn't quite the same as what it says on the data sheet. And now we're going to take a peek at the signal we can use the waveforms software so here we are with the waveform software on the screen and we are now going to put our voltage down there we've got a maximum of five volts uh, we're going to be set at one kilohertz and we've got both channels on the go so we can see left and right uh, one millisecond per division on the base for the um, across here and we're going to um, start our input so we're just gonna pop that in and start climbing and see what we got okay well that's not very good we're clipping from the bottom straight away uh, we're only on one millivolt per division uh one volt per division here so we got one two three four and that shows here on the peak to peak 1.49 well that's not very good and over here it doesn't look particularly very nice anyway I'll just Check these settings. No one one times on my scopes, aren't I? On my probes, yep. Absolutely. Over there. Putting about five watts of power. Oh, that's a little bit. Okay. And now we've just got one side. There's no same power one side sort of dropped out just a bit he's having a bit of a hard time there yep oh no it's caught up again let me just back it off altogether. together start going up again okay um let's say about there so we got 1.4 that's not right there is something definitely not correct about that and you can just see look from the uh, FFT down the bottom that um, this is not a very happy device at all so I'm just going to leave that lot. well I'm going to try and get rid of, of that mess from inside the FFT if I can uh, yeah, about there tops yeah so but look there's obviously an issue here um, it's not on the board because everything is self-explanatory and if you get one wrong you're gonna have something else not in the correct place and everything's gone in correctly so I'm not sure what's going on there I Things seem to be working. This seems to be clean enough. We're just not getting the output. So I've got a funny feeling that maybe those uh, ICs are not correct. It is not correct at all. But hey, it was an experiment. It was just to see what it'd be like. And what I'll do is the 15 pins, not the easiest to be pulling in and out, but doable. I'll get a couple of other ICs and just put them in and see what happens from there. But as far as it goes for this one, this is this is it. That's that's the output. That's I'm not even going to bother getting into using the other audio analyzer because we can see from there that um, it's just not doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, huh. 
All right, well, not really the output I wanted. But hey, that's how things go sometimes. That's how things go. So uh, that's it for this video. Sorry, it's not better than that, guys. And I'll try and get back as soon as I can with some different ICs in there and see if that makes any difference. Okay, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.